Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hey, today, inshallah, we are going to complete our talk about the price elasticity of demand. In the last class, we studied the concept or the meaning of the price elasticity of demand, and we said that the price elasticity of demand explains or shows the percentage change in the quant demanded or the portion of the change in, price in the quant demanded due to the change in the price. Okay? And we said that we have five types of elasticity or the price elasticity of demand. Sometimes the uh, demand will be elastic, inelastic, unitary elastic, perfectly elastic, perfectly inelastic. This, this depends on the type of the product, the necessity of the product for the consumer, uh, the substitutes for uh, the goods if it has uh, many substitutes or a few number of substitutes. This depends. We can determine uh, whether it was elastic or inelastic. Okay? Today, and we said that we have five shapes for the demand curve. The first shape, the price, quant demand. Sometimes the demand curve will be close to the vertical axis. In this case, we can say that the demand here is inelastic, like the demand for the products that has a few number of substitutes. Uh, here, the, the demand is inelastic. Here, when the demand is close to the horizontal axis, it should be elastic, because here the magnitudes of a change and the quantity demand the, and the here and the per, the percentage change in the quant demanded is bigger than the magnitudes of change or the percentage change in the price. Here is the unitary elastic. Here unitary elastic, elastic, and here should be uh, perfectly inelastic, perfectly elastic. Okay, this is a quick review for the last. Uh, lecture, okay? Now, let's go to something else which is related to these things, which is the midpoint elasticity of demand, or the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula. formula or equation to calculate the price elasticity of demand. As we mentioned before, the, the price elasticity of demand formula, PED formula, equals the change in the quant demand delta Q or D over delta P times P1 over Q1, QD1. Right? This is the general formula for, to calculate the price elasticity of demand. Now, let us have the following example to, de, to, to know that there is some problems in this formula. About the letter on halluha, the problems in the formula, hey? Halluha. So, in Shufu and the problem. Let us assume that we have the following demand curve. D, A, point A, B. And let us assume that at point A, this is the price here, and the quant demanded. Five, six. Nine, twelve. In this example, when the price per unit was five shekels, the quantity demanded was a twelve. As the price goes up from five to six, the quantity demanded goes down from twelve to nine. Here, I'm gonna study 
the price elasticity of demand from point A to point B, which means point A is the first point and point B is the second point. So let me calculate or let us calculate the price elasticity of demand from point A to point B when the price goes up from five to six. So let's calculate the price elasticity of demand PED from point A to B. And then let's calculate the price elasticity of demand from B to A and get the result. And explain the results here. It should be the same in all cases. A movement from A to B, the elasticity should be as or equals to B to A. Because you're talking about the same demand curve, the same area. So the formula should give us the same result when we calculate the price elasticity of demand from A to B and B to A. But let us apply the case. So the, apply the formula using the formula here and get the case, the, get rid of the results here. Okay? So from point A to B, what do you see? This is the point, point A, one, the uh, point number one, and this is point number two. At point A here, so the price is P1 is five. The quantity one is 12. For, to point B, this is P2, Q2, okay? So from point A to B, from one to two here, P1 equals five and a QD1 equals how much? 12. Price 2 equals 6. And QD2 equals how much? 9. Which means that here the price goes up, the quantity demanded goes down. Let's apply using this formula here, the general formula. So, the general form PED using this formula equals Q2 minus Q1 over P2 minus P1 times P1 over Q1. What and D? QD. Okay? So the PED here from A to B here, I'm talking about from A to B, equals QD2. Minus a QD1, where 2 here, 9 minus 12 over P2 minus P1, 6 minus 5, times P1 over Q1, 5 over 12. So PED, A to B, equals minus a 3 over 1 times 5 over a 12, so minus 15 over 12. How much is it? Minus 1.3. If we calculate the price elasticity of demand from B to A, it should be the same. Yeah, because we're talking about the same demand curve, the, the movement from po uh, point to another point, the same. But let us apply the formula and get the result here. So let us apply or try to calculate the price elasticity of demand from B to A. From B to A. Here. I'm going to calculate the price elasticity of demand from point B to A, which means that there is a declining in the prices from point B to A. This means that this is the first point, and here is the second point. A movement from point 
B to A, what do you see? The price goes down, the quantity goes up. Here, where's, how much is P1, P2 here? Uh, price one, how much is it? Six. P2 equals how much? Five. QD2, QD1 equals how much? One. Nine. QD2, a movement from point B to A, five. Sorry, 12, yes. Let's apply the formula here. PD equals Luada equals Q2 minus Q1 over P2 minus P1 times P1 over Q1. Hence, PED equals Q2 minus Q1, 12, minus 9 over P2 minus P1, 5 minus 6 times P1 over Q1. Six over nine. All right? Okay. Let's calculate here. Twelve minus nine. Uh, three over five minus six minus one times six over nine equals eighteen over minus nine equals minus two. Minus two. Different result. Here we have different result. So, when we calculated the price elasticity of demand from point A to point B, we get this result. The price elasticity of demand equals one minus 1.2, or 25. When we, we calculated from P to A, we get this result here. Is there a problem? Yes. yes. Should be the same. 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 Should the same. Should the same. A plus B2, and a plus Q2, QD2. That's it. So my midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula, let's, so the midpoint formula, or ARC, elasticity of demand, English family. Eh? No problem. Okay, nice, perfect. Type. So the midpoint formula. Here, no contrast between the two. You try try from A to B, and B to A, you have to get the same result. Okay. So the formula P E D equals Q two minus Q one over P two minus P one times Summation of the prices, some prices, P1 plus P2 over Q2 plus, plus other plus. Then formula here, and this is my midpoint formula. The midpoint formula, the midpoint formula, so that price in assistant of demand formula using the midpoint, Q2 minus Q1 over P2 minus P1 times P2 plus P1 over Q2 plus Q1. What can you demand here? Let's try from point A to point B. Let's try from point A to point B. P E D from Point A to B. Let's try from point A to B. Equals. Try this formula here. From point A to B. From A to B, this is the price one, Q1. 
to be here. How much was it? Six. Okay. The price goes up. The quantity demanded goes down here. Where is P1? From A to B, this is P1. P2. Q1. Q2. So, from A to B. From A to B here. Q2 minus a Q1. Where is a Q2 here? 9. Minus a Q1, 12. Over P2 minus P1, 6 minus 5. Times summation of the prices, sum prices, over the sum of uh, the quantity demanded. 6 plus 5 over 9 plus 12. So, PED in this case, from A to B, equals, how much was it, is it here? Minus a 3 over 1 times 12, 11 over 21. So, PED, A to B, minus th 3 times 11 minus 33 over 21, equals minus 1 point how much? How did I guess him at any? Half? I'm going to try. Uh, 57. Let's calculate. Let's calculate or try to calculate the price elasticity of demand from point B to A. From B to A. This is the first and this is the second here. From B to A, this is price P1. Should be P1. And this is P2. Q1. Q2. So, let's try to calculate the price elasticity of demand from point B to A. B2 plus P1 over Q2 plus Q1. So, PED from B to A equals Q2 minus Q1. Where's the Q2? 12 minus Q1, 9, over P2 minus P1, 5 minus 6, times 5 plus 6, summation of the, you know, the prices over 12 plus 9. So, a 12 mi minus a 3, a positive 3 over minus 1 times 11 over 21. That's the same result, yeah. 3 times 11, 33 over minus 21 equals minus 1.57. The same result. هو كأنه عملوا treatment للفورمولا طلع لي the same result. بس أساس الانطلاق مين الفورمولا الأساسية هذا مش معناه إنها هي غلط. بس هذا صار مريح. قد إيش طلعت الريزلت عنا كانت من أول from A to B كانت minus one point twenty five. عمل الأفريج تبعهم راح يطلع هذا أول مست. اللي هو الميد بوينت. اشتغلوا عليه، انا بديش اقول لك كيف كيف دخلوا في دوامات انهم يوصلوا لهيك، هم وصلوا لهيك هذا يعني كوريكت. يعني يعني الاساس البيس تبعنا البيزكس انه هذا فروم اي تو بي هو بي تو اي. سو ذي هاف تو ريش ذا سيم ريزلت وين ذي كالكوليت ذا برايس ان اسيستنت اوف ذا مان. على تراينج المحاولات وهذا وصلهم لهيك تمام؟ You have to use this formula, the midpoint formula. You are free. You are free to use any of these formulas, but this is you know, the final result. You know, the the final step. You know, the آخر إشي the final stage وصلوا لهيك. Okay? تمام؟ This doesn't mean that the base formula, the 
The original formula is incorrect. It's correct. هذا الأساس اللي انطلقنا منه. بس أنا بدي أحل البروبلم عندي ظهرت. تمام؟ أوكي. Let's go to something else. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. You have to. That the formula you should know. Okay. Let's go go to analyze. The price elasticity of demand along the same demand curve. Analyzing the price elasticity of demand along the same demand curve. And let us assume that we have the following curve. Price, quant demanded. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Get better on show you this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two of them. Subhan min al-jibu. We don't master the tawil, but. Okay, that's it. We have different points here. Now, we are going to calculate the price elasticity of demand at this point, point B, and C, D, E, and F. Okay? At point B here, let's use the general formula. Now, we are going to calculate the price elasticity of demand along the demand curve. Which is more elastic? At point B or C or D or E or F? Now, let's try to calculate the price elasticity of demand between point B to C or C to B using the midpoint formula or the general you are free here okay the midpoint formula from b to c or at point b here this is from b to c or c to b using the midpoint we will reach the same result 
At point B here, from B to C, this is P1, P2, Q1, Q2. All right? Let's calculate the price in assistant of demand at point P here. So PED equals and a B to C or C to B. At point B here. So Q2 minus Q1 over P2 minus P1 times P2 plus P1 over Q2 plus Q1. So here we have. Uh, Q2 minus Q1 for minus 2 over P2 minus P1, 6 minus 8 times. How does it add? How does it add? 6 plus 8 over 4 plus 2. So, two, 4 minus 2, uh, 2 over minus 2 times uh, 14 over 6. How much is it here? How much is it? Had the minus one, had the 14, 2 point, how much? 14 over 6. Point 0.3? Okay, 3, 3, 3, okay. So the demand at point B here, or from point B to C, equals minus 2.3. 3, 3, or 33. Now well, let's go from to C to D. At point C. Or from C to D. This is, this will be point price P1, Q1, is what? And P2, Q2. PED equals Q2 minus Q1, 6 minus 4, over P2 minus P1, 4 minus 6 times. How much? Summation had all. Hey, 10 over 10. Tamam? Get this right in the other. minus 1. Had a 2 over minus 2 times 10 over 10 equals minus 1. Do we end the look the head the Bikun minus 1. Minhan a hek minus 2.3. Hana akbar. Tabnijhan. From C to E. Yan end E. How much is it? From C to E. So from uh, sorry uh, from D to E. From D to E. هذا راح from D to E هذا هيك P1 P2 Q1 and where is it Q2 here let's calculate P E D from D to E Q2, 8 minus 6 over 2 minus 4 times مجموع هدول 6 على 4 over 14 هدول هيك minus 2 over 2 uh, positive 2 over minus 2 times 6 over 14 how much? minus 0 point how much? 42 X sir. Minus 0.42. Hada minus wahad. Hana minus 2.33. Atla fog hana rahat lagi minus 4 point kaza. Atla hana bitla infinity. Taal hana bitla gi zero. Shirut lahdu. A movement from left to right. The demand will be less elastic. الحسابات إيش راح تعطينا؟ هذا حيكون minus infinity هان. هان هيك minus يبقى four point كذا. نزل له minus two point three. نزل هان هيك minus واحد. لو في نو في منتصف تبع هذا minus one. 
جينا هنا ماينس 0.42 امشي هنا حت راح راح تلاقيه اقل يعني لو اخذناه هنا هيك راح يكون لس لما تيجي عند النقطة هذه at this point بيكون زيرو تمام؟ so a movement from left to right along the demand curve the demand will be less elastic تمام؟ اوكي؟ okay. طيب let's go to the slope here let's go to the break ولا نمشي؟ اوكي مر عليك السلوب التان تبع الزاوية الظل الزاوية شو بيساوي؟ اللي بتخب اللي بتخبز الورق هذا ايش بتعمل؟ عجين ولا خبز بس عشان اعرف اللي بتطبخ ايش تحكي ايش؟ ايه؟ مية في المية قابل عم مجاور صحيح؟ سلوب اند الاستيسيتي نعم دلتا برايس على دلتا كيو اه طب لقيت بنشوف دلتا برايس على دلتا كيو اوكي برايس الاستيسيتي اوف ديماند اند ذا سلوب اوف ديماند كيرف Price QD We have the following graphs here هذا يونت ترى إلاستيك مزبوط خلينا هذا تين over أو هنا خلي هذا تين هيك two ten four ten I think that you have an idea about these graphs here, different shapes for the demand curves. If you remember that, we said that when the demand here is 45% uh, centigrade, uh, we can unitary elastic. Han Haig, elastic demand, because the demand curve is Malo, close to the horizontal axis, and the magnitudes or the percentage change in equal demand is bigger than the percentage change in a price. Masbut? Sa? Had a P, had a Q, hand, hick, inelastic demand. The magnitudes of a change or the percentage change in a price is bigger than the percentage change in equal demand. Here, QD. Here is perfectly. Inelastic, perfectly elastic. All right. What about the slope? Slope. هو ظل الزاوية مقابل على المجاور. هيو هيك. هذا negative slope or positive slope? Demand. نيجاتيف سلوب صح؟ احنا اخذنا انه هذا نيجاتيف سلوب عشان هيك الساين اوف ذا برايس ريسيستيف ديماند از اولويز نيجاتيف هير بالتالي هذا ذيس ريفلكس النيجاتيف سلوب نيجاتيف ريليشن شيب بين ذا برايسز اند كوالتي ديماند 
اه السلوب هنا هيك مقابل عن مجاور لتشينج ان برايس اوفر ذا تشينج ان كوان ديماند نوت ذا بيرسن اه هذا الدلتا بي اوفر دلتا كيو بس مش نسب ما فيش نسب يعني يعني السلوب P2 minus P1 over Q2 minus Q1. باختصار هذا المسافة على هذا بس بالنيجاتيف صاير. قديش هذا على هذا؟ 10 على 10. واحد minus 1 إذا السلوب equals minus 10 على 10 minus 1. طبعا هذا حتى راح تقول لي كيف بدي احسبها هاي لو بدي افترض انه هذا هيك ايت آه وهذا تو وهنا هيك سكس آه مسافه اربعة فور احسب السلوب فروم اي تو بي السلوب نوت ذا الستيسيتي Slope. Ah, from A to B or B to A. Slope. I'm talking about slope here. Hey, who are P to? The assumptions in the hang. Two, six, ten. Slope from A to B. How the P one, P two, sah? How the Q one, Q two, sah? Let's calculate the slope here. So we have the slope equals delta p over delta q, which is p two minus p one over q two minus q one. صح? P two minus p one slope equals two minus six over. 8 minus 4, 2 minus 6, minus 4 over 4 equals minus 1. تمام؟ هذا unitary elastic, slope equals minus 1. على كل النقاط. طب جربي, try from B to A. جرب, حيطلع نفس الشيء. غير عن الاستيسيتي نعم تمام اه هي هيك بس كيف اجت هيك صح طب تراي فروم بي تو اي بليز كيب يور موبايل سايلنت مش كل شوي طيب هذا فروم بي تو اي Let's calculate the slope from B to A. Slope from B to A. This is P1, P2. P1, Q1, Q2. Should we plan A? Slope. P2 minus P1, 6 minus 2 over 4 minus 8. تعالها نعم ما هو السلوب الفورمولا تبعته المعادلة هو هو لا هذاك شوفي اللي كنا بنحكي فيه elasticity بس هنا راح توضع توضح الكيسز أكثر ركز معي شوية يعني the more elastic the less slope تمام يعني هنا طلع عندي يونيتر إلاستيك سلوب إيكوالز بونس 1 هذا أولويز هيك تمام طب نشوف هذا إلاستيك قديش السلوب إلاستيك دمان السلوب هاو كان وي كالكوليت السلوب هير لا خلص اثنين على عشر خلص ماينس 
هو اثنين نقص صفر على عشرة صفر نقص عشرة تمام؟ هو السلوب هيك الظل التان تبع الزاوية هاي مقابل على مجاور نيجاتيف سلوب ذاتس ات لان هذا هيك السلوب ايكوالز ماينس 2 اوفر 10 سالب 2 من 10 بالابسليوت فاليو هذا ليس ذان 1 او سيبه يعني هنا هيك هذا هيك بالابسليوت فاليو تبعه ليس ذان 1 ولا مور ذان 1 ليس ذان 1 تمام اذا هنا ذا مور اليست هذا اليستيك ديماند وطلع السلوب تبعه ليس ذان 1 طيب الثيرد جراف هذا هيك اني اليستيك ديماند يعني الاي دي تبعته الاليستيك ديماند مالها هاي ليس ذان 1 بالابسليوت صح؟ اني اليستيك ديماند ان اليستيك ديماند هذا هذا اليستيك ديماند اليستيك الاي دي بالابسليوت فاليو اليستيك ليس ذان 1 الفاليو تبع الاليستيسيتي بالابسليوت فاليو اكبر من واحد صح او اكبر من نقص من ماينس 1 هذا الاليستيك ليس لوب تبعه اقل من واحد ذا مور اليستيك ليس سلوب طب نشوف لور سلوب طب نيجي هان ان اليستيك ديماند قديش كانت الاليستيسيتي كانت بالابسليوت اقل من واحد بالابسليوت فاليو هذا الاي دي هذا الاي دي ليس ذان ماينس 1 طب نشوف السلوب حيكون اكبر من واحد ايوه ماينس 10 اوفر بوزيتيف 4 ماينس 2.5 طبعا بالابسليوت طبعا هذا اكبر من واحد يعني لارجر سلوب اللي سلوبه اعلى الاسيسي تبعته اقل. The larger slope the less elastic demand the less elastic demand. يس. احكي بالاثنين ابسليوت. بالاثنين ابسليوت. النيجاتيف ساين اتس جاست تو ريمايند يو ذات There is a negative relationship between the prices and the quantity demand. It just hit. تمام؟ يعني اشتغل على absolute values here. بال absolute any elastic بال absolute values less than one. The slope تبعه أكبر من واحد. تمام؟ هان. The more elastic demand, the less slope بال absolute values. تمام؟ طيب نيجي هان هيك هذا بيرفكتلي ان اليستيك الاليستيسيتي اوف ديماند تبعته قديش؟ ان اليستيك زيرو صح؟ اي دي هذا بيساوي صفر هذا هيك بيرفكتلي ان اليستيك السلوب انفينيتي لا انفينيتي جربي هلا الفورمولا كيف كانت كيف عندنا الفورمولا الاي دي كيف بنحسبها؟ كيو 2 او دلتا كيو اوفر دلتا بي صح؟ تايمز بي 1 بي 2 بلس بي 1 اوفر كيو 2 بلس كيو 1 صح؟ مش هذه الفورمولا؟ نشتغل عليها؟ السلوب وينه؟ مقلوب هذا ايش؟ ماشي انا بقول لك هذا عباره عن شو؟ هذا الفورمولا تبعت الاستيسيتي صح؟ مظبوط؟ السلوب ايش هو بيساوي؟ دلتا بي اوفر دلتا كيو الابسيت تبعه صح؟ لو كان هذا واحد على صفر او خلينا خمسه على صفر قديش بيكون؟ انفنتي وبالتالي كل القا... كل هذا انفنتي راح يطلع السلوب عقله عكسه صفر على خمسه كان هذا خمسه 5 اوفر 0 بيكون انفنتي طب صفر اوفر ثاني ثاني انا مش انا متاكد انه مش فاهمين 
لا لا ولا حاجه سهل ولا حاجه ها هذا هيك الفري شيبس فهمتوهم الاشكال هاي ضل عندنا مشكلتي في هذا وفي هذا ولا حاجه The price elasticity demand the formula to be at a show with seven. خلينا نأخد كيس هيك. خدوا له هذا هيك هاي الجراف هذا. بده حط P one Q one, P two Q two. واش تغلى لي؟ على formula to be at the elasticity and the slope. هذا الجراف هيك. Let us assume that. The price, uh, this is point A, at this price, here the price and the quantity demanded. Uh, Q equals 10, the price equals 2. And we move from point A to point B along the same demand curve to point 6 here. Tamam? Let's calculate the price elasticity of demand using the midpoint formula or the general formula. Let's calculate the slope and the price elasticity of demand. PD equals a movement from point A to B or B to A. Let's start from A to B. On the elasticity and the slope. A to B means this one and this is two. So, this is point A, price one, two, price two equals six. Then had a P one, P two, had a Q one, and Q two. We have so. So, مزبوط. طيب. Then P A D is who? A Q two minus a Q one over P two minus P one times the summation. Taba had a P two plus P1 over Q2 plus Q1. In the graph here, we have the, what? P1 or delta Q2, Q2, Q2 here is the same as Q1. Q2, 10 minus 10 over, this is PED, over P2 minus P1. 6 minus 2 times 6 plus 2 over 10 plus 10. PED equals 0 over 4 times 8 over 20. طبعا كله راح يطلع عندي 0. 0 في 8 0 over uh, 80. Zero. Had the price elasticity of demand equals zero. How much is the slope? Show the slope. Infinity. Slope equals delta B over delta Q. Who had P2 minus P1 over Q2 minus Q1 equals P2 minus P1, 6 minus 2. Over Q2 minus Q1, the same. 10 minus 10. 4 over 0. Infinity. So? Come on. Come on, have a negative sign. To make sure a Q2, okay, tamam. The price elasticity, elasticity of demand to back to zero, PED, it could zero, the slope, infinity. Yes. Mm. الافتراض هو نيجاتيف سلوب. عارف ليش؟ جربي خذي نقاط بأي طريقة بأي طريقة أنا we are talking here talking about demand curve it's always negative the slope تبعها تمام 
التعاطي مع انه هو فيرتيكال بطل قادر الفورمولا تميز انه هو رايح هيك او رايح هيك يعني يعني تتعاطي مع ديماند كيرف فيرتيكال الفورمولا بطلت قادره تقول لك انه هل هو هيك او هيك تمام الاسامبشنز تبعنا انه الديماند كيرف از اولويز نيجاتيف سلو تمام خليه كيف ما تخلي خليه هيك قريب من الفيرتيكال ها راح يتعامل مع ويطلع لك النيجاتيف ساين تمام اوكي تمام طيب ليتس جو تو ذا لاست كيس هير سو ذا زيرو هنا زيرو اليستيك بي اي دي ايكوال زيرو سلوب انفينيتي طب نيجي هنا ذا لاست كيس انفينيتي Price elasticity of demand, or the price elasticity of demand is infinity. Perfectly elastic demand means the price elasticity of demand equals infinity. Slope. Right, like zero. اشتغلوا عليه برح تلاقيها هذا P هذا this is a point A point B. حط the quantity of prices. Quantity is ten. Four, and here is seven. اشتغل عليها from A to B or B to A. Calculate, عمل calculations لا the price elasticity of demand ولا slope راح توصل لهذا the result. نعملها سواء هيك. From point A to B, let's calculate the price elasticity of demand. From I A to B, هذا بصير عنا هيك. هذا Q one Q two. هذا P one هو P two. صح؟ مزبوط؟ صح ولا عاه؟ طيب ها اذا عندنا هيك بي اي دي ايكوالز كيو 2 ماينس كيو 1 4 ماينس 10 اوفر 7 ماينس 7 ايكوال تايم مجموع هدول على مجموع هدول 14 over 14 هنا 4 minus 6 over 0 times 1 times uh, infinity صح؟ أي ست أي عدد على صفر infinity طيب ال p السلوب equals شو الوضع عندنا؟ دلتا p over دلتا q P2 minus P1, P2, 7 minus 7. 7, P2 minus P1 over Q2 minus Q1. P2 minus P1, 7, minus 7 over Q2 minus Q1, 4 minus 10. 0. So when the demand is perfectly elastic, the slope equals zero. Right? Who has a problem so far? Okay.